Welcome again to our series about um, Zizhen Lucidity. As you know, we are working on the concepts that Zizhen created uh, for the, their comprehension, their understanding of life. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about how we create our reality. We have talked about this so many times. This time I'm going to talk to you specifically about a concept called Rokosho, which, um, which was imagined by the Zizhen as a snake that uh, was forming a circle that was biting uh, uh, herself. First of all, before talking about Rokosho, I would like to talk to you about emotions and how emotions create your reality. It's just an example, because Rokosho, uh, it's about mental reality, how our mental conceptions and creations create our reality normally to a negative outcome. But I'm gonna use a first example with emotions just to make you clear how we do create our reality. Imagine that you are, you are a shy person, that you are afraid of social interactions, and that you are gonna have a coffee to a, to a nearby place. And just the very fact, or the, the mere fact of imagining this situation is creating in you a kind of stress mental stress maybe you are start you start sweating you are you are uncomfortable and this um, starts generating uh, an inner state in your in, in yourself it is said and it's true that that uh, that a smile is contagious and it is true as well that people normally respond to the things you you give to them so it's normal that if you enter in that place smiling probably you're going to create a positive um, state on people towards you but the truth is that when you let your emotion take control of your mind and trap it you're gonna create a situation in which you're not entering surely with that smile in your in your in your face but all the way around so you are going to to enter with a with an ugly face a disgusting face so probably when you enter because of the same transmission mechanism that created, uh, that could have created the uh, smile reflection on the other, you're gonna create an ugly face on the other to respond as a response to your ugly face, and this is gonna confirm what you what you were thinking. But this was never true. This uh, this was just what your emotions created in your mind that you took as your reality and that crystallized. On, on the very reaction of the other person and then has become your reality. So it could be it could have been very different if you have entered smiling but your emotion did uh, make you to enter with this ugly face that got response of the other person and that confirmed what you thought was truth. It's quite quite dangerous and as I have told you so many times, it is actions, it is thoughts, it is habits, it is emotions what create your reality. Let's see about Rokosho. Rokosho is a similar mechanism, but it's about mental creations. It's creating a vicious cycle, uh, the very same way that your ugly creates the ugly of the other and the ugly of the other creates the confirmation that starts a vicious circle, but with mental creations. It's about uh, dimness, it's about imbi, and it's about pride. Dimness is stupidity made attitude. It's when you let your, st your stupidity in the, in the way of doing stupid things, of doing absurd things, and you let it uh, become your attitude towards the world. They say the Zen that it was formed out of other three uh, energies the, the first one was arrogance the second one was lies and the third one was uh, stupidity so when you let stupidity mix especially with arrogance and with lies you let it become uh, this 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 way you confront the world and by is um, is another dangerous uh, creation is the necessity you have uh, for the other not to have success, not to have money, not to have good things. It is what is normally called the haters. 
So um, this is then used to distinguish uh, between embi on the good sense, which was not embi, which was uh, be inspired by other people's achievements, which is good, and and with 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 they called really embi, which was to to address your energy for the other not to uh, get things, get good things. It is form about uh, uh, rage about uh, um, aggressivity and 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 as well as uh, about vanity and you can understand it easily if you let vanity to become aggressive and to address to other people this is when you become uh, when, when you let somebody control your life and create a reality as ugly as the situation I, I talked to you about at uh, the coffee shop before. So let's talk about the last one. The last one is pride. Pride is made of uh, infantility, about um, childness in, in a bad sense, about uh, being a lazy person and about being ignorant. Pride, they say, this is an, as my master normally says, it's like a bridge that, that, that does, doesn't exist, that, that, that has collapsed. It's the bridge to another person that you have collapsed and you are not being able to, to get to the other person because you give yourself a too high consideration. As I told you before, uh, the Shizen thought that energies, that strengths, um, that forces, uh, not strengths, got together, joined, uh, united to create events, to create incidents in your life. So it's like accumulation of these things that we have seen. When you let uh, ignorance, when you let uh, laziness, when you let uh, your infantility accumulate, that you create pride. And you start this cycle of life and death, of, of um, you, you give life to the thing that is creating death in your life. So this is why the snake is biting uh, herself, because your own mouth is, what you, is what's killing you. So don't let this form part of your life. Enjoy life and have, have good thoughts, have good emotions, have good, have good habits, and, and enjoy this beautiful life. Thank you so much. See you next week.